Hey y'all, so Alicia Kinshe, you are now rocking with Culture Talk with Kinshe. I have a very special guest with me. I'll let him introduce himself. What's up, it's your boy Retro, representing 911. You already know who Okay. All right, so first of all, off the bat, I need to ask you, do you have a stylist or something? Because no. you have the dopest no. retro outfits ever. No, no, no. no. Everybody asks me that all the time. But really, <laughs> it's just, I, I thrift shop in every state I look to the oh. world. So I thrift shop in my online shop. So I really, I make it my business to like look for vintage things. Yeah. Or if my brother sees something, he'll call me like, bro, cash at me right now. <laughs> I see this like this. He like, I see this old boo-boo there. You know, I get it. So a lot of my family is in tune to what I wear. And they'll call me if they see something. Right. Oh, that's lit. Like, yeah. That's lit. Mm -hmm. so how you feeling? Do they support you as far as like your music and everything? Oh, yeah. Everybody can push. I'm the youngest of six kids. So oh, wow. <laughs> I got to hear a bunch of different opinions. Like, you should do this. You should do that. Or you should go that way. But they really, they really support do they ever give you opinions on your music that you're like, nah, man, that was fine? Uh, <laughs> not really. Only one of them do. It's like he's the one that's before me. He's more like, you need to put more, you need to make more content. Like, make it more about, like, something in life more so just to play something or something. Like, but I listen to him, so I make, I make both. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely important to have, mm -hmm. you know, constructive yeah. criticism with yeah. you. Yeah. So nice. what inspired your whole, like, 90s vibe? Mm -hmm. Really, just because, like, since I was young, uh, my mom, she she would leave home, mm -hmm. and she would just leave all her CDs. Mm -hmm. and she had a tough CD collection, right? I'll tell the story of time. And I would just listen, take, touch her CD. You know, when you're a kid, you're not supposed to just touch stuff. Yeah. I would just take all her CDs and listen to them, and it's just, that era to me is impeccable. It's still gold. And nobody's like really in tune with it, so I, that's what really keep me. I feel like it's a lost art there that yeah. still needs to be um, get represented. Yeah, yeah, I definitely feel like you created your own lane. Yeah, that, for sure. For sure, yeah. And that's what I did. I just took what I seen from legends and put my own twist to it. And of course, I'm just being me. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what um, what artists do you feel like from that genre like inspired you the most, or you feel like come through your music the most? Uh, I can't really give it to one artist. Like, I, I'm not that. I mean, not one, but like, yeah, yeah. Then, uh, Dr. Dre, the DOC, yeah. Tupac, of course. I love Tupac. Easy, -E, um, Kid and Play, mm -hmm. Will Smith. I just really like studying everything that is wearing. Cole from Martin. Yeah. Like, when he Cole was fresh. On like, yeah, he was, yeah, for so, sure. Yeah, so I, anything I see him, I'm just like, yeah, I need to find something like that. As far as, like, the music of the 90s, is just, man, Tupac is, like, big in Tupac. I know that's so cliche, but I really, like, study every album from him, even though I know Biggie only got two. Yeah, I yeah. mean, they say the best ever, so who, who better to study? Yeah, <laughs> right. So what do, do you have any, like, peers, like, your own age that inspired you? Uh... Of course, I was like a, as a this generation of music. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I like Jimmy Cliff. Okay. I love uh, I love his album. Yeah, I love him. So, he, you know, that inspired me a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I like how he, he he's so gangster, but yeah, he tells you like it's not that serious. Like, yeah. Don't take this too serious. Yeah, he has a lot of fun. Yeah, know? he has so much fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. I've been right. listening to that album like Me on too. repeat. Yeah, I, I love his witty and his cadence. So yeah, if anybody of this generation inspired me, I'd say the most of the young fellas. Yeah. Okay, okay. So where are you from? Um, I, was, I was born in Detroit, but I was raised in Atlanta. So yeah. it's a mixture of uh, when I was there, they didn't listen to South stuff. They were like, listen. Right. So then when I moved here, I was like, they was listening to Lil John and stuff. I was like, what is this? But of course, you can't be a hater. You gotta learn to adjust. And I just adjusted with the times and I like both. Mm. So yeah, I like South music getting North and music. So if you listen to my music, you can hear that. I might take it up North or I might take it to the South. But that's why. Mm. Okay. Um, what did you just say is your biggest accomplishment so far? Uh, having my son that I just had four or five months ago, mm -hmm. alone. That's my biggest accomplishment. Because I never knew like the value of like life until I had yeah. my son. Yeah. For sure. So it made me look at women different, it made me look at my brothers and sisters different. Mm -hmm. Kids, it make you look at everything in a different way. I appreciate things more. Yeah. 
Yeah. Really. So that's an accomplishment for me because I'm a guy that is like, like everything got to be like this and I'm moving like this. But my son told me to slow down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, appreciate mm-hmm. the, the moments. Yeah. For sure, mm-hmm. for sure. So does he like impact your music at all? Would you say that the way that you do music has changed? Yeah. Since then? So like, for instance, like today, I didn't want to, like I, I was like, yeah, I'm going to write because I write every day. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, you know, you get writer's block. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to write. I'm gonna. But when I see his face, it's like, damn, I got to do this for you. I got to push for you. So when I, every time I look at him, he just makes me want to push harder. So, harder. so of course, he, he inspired me every time, right? Like, I think about him every time because like, I'm doing this to make his life better. Right. I'm doing this to make our life better. So, yeah. How would you feel if he grew up and wanted to be a rapper? I'm um, supporting anything, <laughs> anything you want to do. I'm uh, supporting. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure. So, um, nine one records. What's mm-hmm. that? Oh, that's that's my independent record label. I started with my best friend Tom, mm-hmm. and it's just we've been moving forward since. You know, I I, I watch the greats, Master P, Sugar Knife. All the to me, I feel like music is now giving you an opportunity to have your own record label. And your own, I have all your own masters. So uh, instead of signing to somebody, I sign myself right. and make my own record. Label. Yeah. So that way, I can, we make all the money. If we sell millions, we get all the money. If we do this over here, we we get all the funds, everything from it. So that's the the perks of having your own label. Right. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Shout out to uh, DJ Tom. Yeah. And um, so are you looking to sign like more artists, or are you trying to get? Of course, I'm not greedy. I, the only way to be successful is if you help other families and right. like because if if you pay attention to any it, everything is history it repeats itself so if you pay attention to anybody who's successful you just look at the branch of people who they put on like jay-z the whole rockefeller movement cameron diplomat that all extended from jay-z being signed right. so if you look at like the baby now as soon as he got in the door he put on stun and you get what I'm saying? So like, when I get on, I don't want to, where I get bigger, I don't want to just, I don't want it ever to just be about me. I'm looking to help anybody who's talented. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, are you looking at anybody? Like, you have anybody in mind? Uh, not really. I, I really, I hear a lot of music. I see people, but to me, I just want to be in a position. I got to help myself first before I help you. Yeah. So I want to be, be in a great position to help you. I want to do everything I would want somebody to do for me, for you. So yeah. that's how I feel. Yeah, yeah. I feel like um, I feel like I've been watching you for a while though. You've been coming mm-hmm. on. I saw that you've been rocking out like large yeah. Yeah. crowds. How's that feel? Oh yeah, that's it's dope. So it's uh, you know, my favorite part of music is performing. I like the performance aspect because that's that's the part I study the most. Like Michael Jackson, Chris Brown. Those are my favorite entertainers overall. So the performing. That's my favorite part. It's just to be so live, meeting new people, everybody going wild, they be drunk and everything. And right. then I like to bring them on stage because, you know, when you go to shows, a lot of artists don't really be like, you can come on stage. Right. So I like to bring people on stage and let them feel how they feel. So to me, that's the best part. Yeah, that is. Yeah. People aren't really doing mm-hmm. that for sure. Yeah. So um, you have a new single out right now called Suit On. Mm-hmm. Tell me a little bit about that. Oh, that's that's an, a song where a song where like me, I'm more like conscious. I'm more like I just I don't really trap beats. Yeah. So like I was just like, let me see what I can do with a trap beat, and I uh, that's what it happened. I made a suit on. I just wanted to make something catchy. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah, it definitely seemed a little different. You you're normally a storyteller, but yeah. I like what you did with that. Yeah. For, yeah. Thank like, you so much. So um, what? What um inspires like your nineties fashion? Like what do you get it now? Like besides like thrift and like what um, I would let online. That's that's it. The internet is defeat and defeat. So if I could like now back then it was hard if I wanted something to look like what Bobby Brown had on, I would have to like go really search it. And now I could just type what I want and then just pop up and I just buy it. So it's really the internet, really. If I need something, I just go straight to the internet. So you can just search it in yeah, and for sure. it'll pop up somewhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's and weird. then I just buy it. But I look, I do, like, I, I, I shop on the budget for real. Even though <laughs> I don't have to, but I do because I come from a struggle. 
So even when I see stuff, I'm not just oh, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy it because I see it. I already, I, I always know you can find it cheaper. Yeah. It's clothes, so I always look for the best value for my book. Definitely know? after yeah. having a baby, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's all he's always gonna be good. Yeah. I shopped with him way before he was even here. I love shopping, so mm-hmm. as you can tell, I love yeah. shopping. So <laughs> when he was here, his closet was way full before he was even. Where you was even on the earth, yeah. Where do you see yourself like a year from now? Uh, I see myself just moving forward as a black man, pushing the culture forward as far as rap because, I, like I said, I feel like it's an area in rap that we are missing. We're missing the golden age of hip hop. Somebody from that that statue, like we had, we do have Kendricks and Coles and stuff, but they've been in the game for like 10 plus years. Like, mm-hmm. To me, I feel like that's what I'm do for the culture, just push it forward. I feel like I, I see myself pushing music forward with the dance, and there's no rapper who dance. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I'm gonna bring that to the table. I bring a lot, a lot of different things to the table, rather than just rap. Yeah, and you bring up uh, like the differences between the rappers then and now. Mm-hmm. But what about like as far as the females? Like, how do you feel like the females from the '90s um, correlate to like now? How would you compare them? To me, I feel like they show their before it's like the love for the females was there with rapping, then it fell off. Now I feel like it's getting back there. We, we are respecting females more as rappers because they're as good as the guys like Tierra. Mm-hmm. She's tough. There's a lot of rappers to me that she's better than male rappers. Right. So I feel like the females are they're getting there just too, but we can't show them more love. Yeah, we like can't. That. So what do you feel about Jermaine Dupri's comments about? Uh, I really, to be honest, I really don't know what he said. I didn't even read it because your life is what you make it. You know, if you rap, Jermaine Dupri is not going to affect what you do in life. So he said that um, that all of the female rappers nowadays sound the same, pretty much. All the male rappers sound. <laughs> True. I mean, everybody has a pain. To me, they don't. Nicki don't sound like Cardi. Made in the style don't sound like Cardi. To me, to me they're they're they more different. To me. I don't I don't agree. Yeah. Yeah. I I really think every you if you made it in the industry, you made it for a reason. So right. I appreciate all artists because I take like I said, every artist I look at, I study, and I take something from them, even from the smallest thing, because they made it for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So, um, what do you have coming up next in the in the near future? Uh, I've been writing every day, like I said. So, um, um, I like to with this next project that I'm working on. I haven't got a name for it or nothing. I, I'm a planning type of guy, so I plan it out. But I'm really just into the box right now of recording hundred a hundred song. Mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna pick from that, and I'm gonna put it up, and then I'm gonna execute. About you said a hundred songs. Or yeah, what you think I narrowed it down to? Uh, ten. Ten. Yeah. Okay, that's decent. That's decent. Yeah, that's just to push myself. You feel me? Yeah, Boy. I know a lot of people are doing like shorter projects now. Oh yeah. <laughs> I I don't really want to like go overboard because once I do the hundred songs, I know there I know I'm gonna use some more. Right. So I'm gonna make it a a, a, a part two to it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's my goal right now. It's just going harder, working harder. I really took a break because I had to be a father. Right. But now I'm back on my square. So, so Sudon is going to be on that? No, it's not at all. No. It's just a it's single. It's a whole effect. different. Yeah, <laughs> just, to, just for my fans. So they're like, where's well, Retro doing? Right. And I got them some fresh music. But like, no, nah, it's a whole new vibe for my mixtape. Yeah, because the 9 records was so lit. And, like, yeah. and really, like, it really like let you know, okay, like, he got his own lane. Yeah. Like he got his own thing that he I appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so how important do you feel like it is to like for upcoming artists to be different and create their own lane? It to me it's very important. It but it's harder. If you don't know that it's very harder to be it's harder to be an eyeball than this like this guy sound like this, so I'm gonna make a track that sound like this and then put you in that wave and now you won't because you're in this wave. But when that wave falls off, you gotta remember that it's always about reinventing yourself. But if you're this type of person that nobody's acting like, you always, to me, you always gotta 
a stone. You always got a set in stone. Right. So it's very hard to be different. But I do it every day, so <laughs> I'll keep going. Okay. What other advice would you give to um, artists coming up? In the uh, just be yourself. That's the, uh, the on, most honest answer. Be yourself and write every day. Work on your craft. If I can give you any advice, just work on your craft or what you want to be every single day. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, so thanks for joining us, uh, Alicia Kinche. Let me let you tell everybody where to follow you and all um, that. Yeah, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Retro Starkey. That's S T A R K E Y. Star and key. Now I want to be more. Of it. And I, I appreciate you for giving you. me this platform to talk to people. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we'll catch y'all next time. Yeah. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me at Alicia Kinche on Instagram and Culture Talk with Kinche on Instagram. Thanks. Thank you.